Hey guys, Sock here from Socky Tech, and in today's video, I want to talk about the Mac Pro. So as you know, Apple's brand new Mac Pro is available to order today. And if you want to max out the specs on this Mac Pro, the pricing is absolutely crazy. In this video, I'm going to build the most expensive Mac Pro together with you guys. Now, if you go to the Mac Pro's page on Apple.com, it says, Power to change everything, say hello to a Mac that is extreme in every way, including the price. With the greatest performance, expansion, and configurability, yet it is a system created to let a wide range of prof professionals push the limits of what is possible. So let's go inside and build the most expensive Mac Pro and see what you're getting for almost $53,000, not including the actual display. Now, before I dive in and build the Mac, I do want to let you know that um, most professionals are going to be fine with the base model. I mean, I'm a professional. I know a lot of professionals that use a regular uh, MacBook Pro, which they purchased for around $2,500, that gets the job done for video production, photo editing. But if you max out a Mac Pro, it goes beyond professional. You know, it, you would have to be in the movie making industry, making real blockbuster movies. That's the kind of things you can do uh, with this kind of powerful Mac Pro. Anyway, let's build this up and see the price and see how crazy it is. All right, so here we are at Apple.com. Let's go to Mac uh, right over here on the top and go to Mac Pro. I'm going to click on it. All right, it's going to bring up the animation right here. I'm going to click on Buy. And then I do want to let you know uh, they're also going to be selling a Mac Pro very soon. That's going to be in the rack format. Now, this is the tower format. This is the rack format. This is going to start at $6,500. This one starts at $6,000, okay? This is coming soon. Let's click Configure. All right, so the first thing we can do here is we can select a processor. Now, as base model, obviously, this is $5,999, which is $6,000. And that's not bad because it does have an 8-core processor, all right? So let's just go up to 28 cores, which is the maxed out version. So that's going to add $7,000. The price jumps to $13,000. We're going to scroll down. And again, the base model already has 32 gigabytes of memory, which is not bad at all. But you can go all the way to 1.5 terabytes of memory. If you're an everyday person, you don't need this, obviously. You can go with a 32. That's going to be enough for most even heavy-duty professionals but you can go to 48 for 300 bucks, 96 for another $700, and so on and so forth. But for $24,000, you can jump to 1.5 terabytes of RAM, and that's DDR4 ECC memory, one of the most expensive memory you can buy on the market. Now, if you scroll down, again, you can start with an 8 gigabytes of a graphics card, which is going to be the base model. But again, if you're going to, if you're going to do crazy things... You can go for two ProVega 2 Duo cards that have 32 times 32 gigabytes of memory. And again, that's high quality uh, HBM2 memory. So that's going to be $10,800. The price right now, we're looking at $48,000. And then if you want to max out the solid state drive, uh, that's $1,400. You get four terabytes. Let's scroll down a little bit. Let's just grab the Apple Afterburner card, okay, just to max out the price. And then you can either have feet or you can have wheels. So over here, you can have regular feet or you can actually have wheels that allows you to move this chassis around more easily. So let's click on that. We are at $52,599. And then, of course, what you can do is you can get a... This one comes with a Magic Mouse too. That's great. But if you want to add the Magic Mouse too and a trackpad... Then it's $52,748. That's the maximum price, okay, that you can get. Now, obviously, you're going to take two to $3,000 even more in taxes that you have to add to this. In the United States, in Pennsylvania, it's 6% sales tax. So that's another four dollars $5,000 uh, for this product. Now, on top of that, if you also want the Pro Display XDR, which you should get if you're maxing out your Mac, then you're looking at, uh, let's get the best one here, $6,000 more. And if you want to get the stand, uh, this has been a joke on the internet because they're selling the stand for $1,000. So if you want the stand, add another $1,000. And then the final price is almost $60,000. 
totally, totally insane and you can add that to your bag. I'm pretty sure not a lot of people are gonna do this. Uh, you don't need this if you're just an average professional. Uh, but if you are in the movie industry making blockbuster videos or just producing something really high end, this is something you could use and it's gonna last you for years to come. Now, if you buy something like this, obviously you wanna buy the Apple Care. For the Mac, it's only $300. Uh, for the displays, $500, three years of support, okay? And then you can add these to your bag as well. So you're looking at $60,000 plus for the maximum Mac Pro. So again, that was just a quick video to show you guys how expensive this thing can get. And uh, again, look at that, $63,330 with the estimated tax for this zip code right here. Insanity. All right, so drop your comments down below and let me know what you think. Is this something you would ever buy? And even with the base model, which is $6,000, which is extremely high, by the way, for the average person, you're better off buying a MacBook Pro or another Windows computer to do your professional work. Anyway, drop those comments down below and let me know for now, guys. Have a fantastic day, all right?